Hello, my name is Brenda Hayward. This video will highlight some of the things for you as a creator to think about as you move forward with your career. This video is called 10 Things to Think About While Starting Your YouTube Filming Journey. The video will highlight additional information to your questions on what other information can be helpful and added to your need to know list. Creators, I hope you have bought your notebook and pencil. Just a little about me, I'm a person who enjoys food. However, I cannot mention my favorite restaurants. One, I have thought about, have you thought about when you are going to be filming your videos? If you have not thought about the filming times of your videos, think about it and set a schedule. At least think about scheduling videos at least once or twice a week and make those days non-negotiable and consistent. Think about which day of the week you have the time to learn and do filming. Give yourself time, for example. It could take your first job more than a day of filming your video because you may decide you want to make changes. Remember, the first few videos may not be perfect and that you are now beginning learning as a creator and you will grow from your experience and make changes as you learn how and when. Have you thought about setting goals? As a new YouTuber, you will need to set goals. Goals give you an opportunity to think about what would you do different if things happen. For example, if your video has a low viewership on YouTube, what would you do? Would you stop promoting that video? Would you research other creators and see how they keep their viewers entertained? Would you take the time and think about what would you do the first year now that you have been creating videos? Goals help you think about how you will grow your brand. Just sit down and make a list. Have you thought about how you would create a fast track program for yourself that will help you reach your customers? As you review your YouTube website, you will learn there a need to think about how you're going to reach your customers. Don't forget to think about who those people are you're trying to reach. YouTube has measures in place for you to meet. Those measures are not limits. They only tell you the measures. However, if it's up to you to perform and rise above those measures. Have you taken the time to research ideas that work and what will work for you as a creator? Experience will only narrow down what truly works for anyone. Write those ideas down, then decide what you feel will work best for you. As you find out what works best for you, that's when you will start gaining new viewers for your channel. One of the greatest things you would do is to keep showing up by adding new videos in your creative library. Remember, creator, you are in this for the long haul. Have your research included information on body language and its effects? This is only my view. However, body language is a process of communicating non-verbally through conscious and unconscious gestures and movements. Have your research included transitioning outside facts or ideas that could assist you in making your channel viable? While doing your research, immerse yourself in the industry and remember to include things like books and libraries and listening to podcasts. Have you reviewed your competitors' comments? Reviewing your competitors' comments section of the videos can help you add to your listing what is important to your viewers. This information will jumpstart you as a creator when putting together your video. Reading the comments will definitely give you a heads up on the areas that you can start to gain viewers. Have you thought about if you wanted to use your face in the video or an avatar? You could create an avatar if you don't like being in front of the camera. All you have to do is a little research. An avatar is a personalized graphical illustration that could represent you while viewers have 
viewing your videos? Have you thought about adding videos dealing with breaking news? Those are videos that your audience might have a need to know or would like to hear something about them because they are currently busy working on other projects and information is power. Have you thought about focusing on targeted videos on tutorials that can improve the viewers information base such as educational platform? Remember information is power and some things may be important to people dealing with your viewers if you have the time and can share information. One area could be just targeting people's frustrations to see how many viewers may have felt the same way you could acknowledge some information and letting them deal in with the problem. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking the thumbs up or by leaving comments below or by emailing me to let me know if you want a free PDF, 14 things to think about before starting your YouTube journey. Also, if you have the time, check out our other videos that may answer a few other questions you may have. My name is Brenda Hayward, and thanks for your time.